G'day, Ramsey here, the internet video man, bringing you some hot tips for streaming sites like Netflix and Disney Plus. Because I recently burnt my fingers and I can't use it on my touchpad. So I started using keyboard shortcuts for the streaming sites and turns out you can do pretty much all the things that you would normally do like pause, mute, volume up or volume down with just keyboard shortcuts. Let's see some of them. Let's start with Netflix first. So I've got my MacBook here where I'll try and watch my Netflix without using the mouse. So open Netflix and when you see the profile option, use the tab button to navigate. Once you're in the right profile, use the enter key to get into the profile. The only drawback though is that you can't go backwards in motion. You can only select movies and TV shows in the right side. Once you're in, you can use the tab key to get the search icon highlighted and type the show you want, say Black Mirror. By the way, I just love and hate the show at the same time. Once you're in, you can use the tab key to get the search icon highlighted and then you can type the show you want, like say Black Mirror, which has gotten a bit too commercial for my taste, to be honest. Anyway, also you can search for another show, like say The Office, if you're a Smart Teens Proxy customer and want to watch Netflix US outside of the US. And then you can use the combination of tab and enter to play the show. Once you have the show, you can use the same buttons to hover over next episode and select it. Sometimes you don't have a show in your mind or you'd rather just scrub through the homepage and see what you like. In that case, you can again use the tab and enter to move between shows. So yeah, once you're in the show, one of the shows that you like, you can use the following shortcuts. S to skip them, M for mute, space to play and pause, and if you hold the space bar to watch it frame by frame, comes into handy if you want to dissect a scene. And then of course you can do F to go to full screen, which is pretty common, right arrow to fast forward 10 seconds, left arrow to rewind 10 seconds, up arrow to volume up, and down arrow to volume down. And as a given, escape is exit full screen. It's not just Netflix, these keyboard shortcuts pretty much work on most streaming sites like say Disney Plus or even YouTube, try it now. I mean, don't close the video, but try it now. So yeah, you can use the same tab and enter to move around shows just like you did in Netflix and the same shortcuts from keyboard like say, you know, space to pause, M to mute, F for full screen, right and left arrows for fast forwarding 10 seconds, you know, forward or backwards, up and down arrows for volume up and down. They also work on YouTube, if you haven't noticed already. So there you go, those were some of the best tips that you can use to navigate within Netflix or any other streaming site for that matter. If you're a young guy, you'd be like, I knew that already, this is a useless video. But if you're an old guy and someone who didn't know these tips, give us a like and appreciate it. Also, you can use the same tips by hooking up your Bluetooth keyboard to a TV as well. So, but those controls are a bit different so you might have to look into that. While you're at it, use that keyboard and type in smartdnsproxy.com to unblock dual-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Apple TV, there's a bunch of those, and we've made videos on each and every one of them to you know, set it up and unblock all of them and use VPN to protect yourself because there's a lot of prying eyes in the world. As always, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, subscribe and click on that bell icon so you get notified every time a video is out. You can watch other videos right now.